In uh, 2018, um, I started getting uh, abdominal pains, and it just by the, as the days went by, they started getting stronger and stronger, and and uh, stronger to the point that um, I was pretty much laid out in my bed. It took me a while to go and get medical advice, and uh, finally, uh, when I did go, the doctor uh, suggested I go get a, a, a CAT scan, and uh, so I went. And uh, the weekend went by, and uh, we were, uh, we, my wife and I were praying over for healing for my body, um, you know, nonstop, repeatedly. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. I, I went to work on that on the Monday, because um, I had been off work already for quite a while. I remember driving back on my way home that day, and uh, I got a call from a uh, from the doctor and she got she told me that um i needed to call my wife that uh, i needed to go to the emergency room because i needed to have a uh, emergency surgery on my uh lower abdomen Fear tried to creep into me, you know. Um, uh, a lot of things flashed into my mind in that 1.5 seconds, you know, with my family, um, you know, I'm going to have surgery. And immediately, I, I went to God. I wasn't going to give the enemy any room into, uh, in, into my mind or into my body. Any infirmity in my body, anything that is not of God was being casted out. And um, praising God while I'm doing it, you know, thanking him for my healing. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And uh, I, I called my wife, you know, and I told her. She immediately, the same as I did, she, you know, she rebuked it in Jesus' name. And, uh, you know, we, 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 on the phone, she was just like, no, we're not going to give the enemy any, any fault all of this. So we got to the hospital there, and then... Uh, we uh, we're praising. We're we 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 letting it be known that God is is mighty, and He's He's gonna heal me. That there's not gonna be no need for the surgery, and uh, we just you know uh, we're we're praising, we're worshiping, we're uh, reading uh, verses from the Bible for healing. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. One of the doctors came in at this point to uh, to check on me on my uh, on my pains, and uh, he started pressing on my lower abdomen, and and he would press on it and ask me, "Does this hurt?" And at that time, the pain had stopped. He was pushing hard all over in different places. Does this hurt? And I just said, "No, it doesn't." And does this hurt? And no, it doesn't. And then he pushed in another place. Does this hurt? And then I told him, no, it doesn't. And then he, he looked at me. He looked confused, like he didn't know what was going on. The, the look in his face is it's one that I'm never going to forget. And then the, uh, the surgeon came in. And he uh, started doing the same things that the previous doctor came in. He introduced himself and he says, I'm, I'm the surgeon that's going to be operating on you. And uh, I just want to—I just want to check on you and see that you know, um, if you have any pain or anything, I see see what's going on. I started like I'm giggling right now. I started laugh, like giggling and laughing and going because just the looks on their face, you know, unbelief what what's going on. This guy, should, I should be pushing right here, and, and he should be screaming in pain because at one point I was in that pain. That if you would have just barely touched me, I would have been screaming like, "Stop! Don't do that! It hurts." He looked at me and he said, well, Mr. Arias, uh, you know, you should be in a lot of pain, but you're not. Um, we should be taking you into surgery right now, but we're not going to take you into surgery. We're going to let the IVs finish going in, and then um, we're, we're going to let you go. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. While we were there, there was the uh, the nurse that was helping me, and uh, she was Muslim. 
And, you know, she said, you know, uh, you know, I have never seen nobody with uh, such faith. All glory to God. You know, it, it's him. He's the one that did it. It's, uh, you know, I was I was just faithful in him and stand on his promises. What he says is true. You know, all you need is a mustard seed of faith and, and you can move mountains. And he moved that mountain for me. He took that away from me. So I praise him in Jesus' mighty name.